All right, guys, I know I need a haircut. Be quiet and leave me alone. But if you've been checking your Weeble, your Fidelity, whatever you have stock on, and you're thinking to yourself, damn, I'm down right now. This sucks. You guys are not the only one. In fact, today we are going to be taking a look at a few firms that are down bad over the year, as well as some firms still expecting the market to drop. So just be glad you're not somebody who put their money into a hedge fund, uh, into a pension plan that is doing bad, because handing your money over to a quote unquote professional that didn't do so well would hurt even more. So I'm going to play this clip for you, but right now we have Tiger Global down year to date 52%, but the long only fund is also down 9.5%, bringing the total decrease in the Tiger Global fund down 66.5%. So those pension funds are hurting extremely bad. Now we've talked about everything crashing, funds coming down, central banks coming down, margin calls, liquidity issues, phase six, etc. The next fund that is down 41% year to date is Whale Rock. Then beyond all this in the clip, JP Moore Morgan says that stocks can fall further and more and we know JP Morgan and BlackRock has had issues cutting staff freezing withdrawals BlackRock halting trading etc etc and one of the largest funds Millennium is pouring money into a new fund scheduled to launch next year and Millennium's flagship fund is up currently 9% funds run by these firms lost more than half of their value yeah and we call hedge funds you know the smart money because a lot of people pay them a lot of money to manage their portfolio and yet it was indeed tough just dropping in the Bloomberg tech has been a washout the S&P 500 was down 9.3% last month and people close to the matter again say these big funds uh, got hit pretty hard Chase Coleman's Tiger Global fell 4.4% for the month bringing year-to-date losses to 52% and we're told the firm's long only fund in other words bullish on the market fell more than nine and a half percent in September so that brings its year-to-date slot to 66.5 percent. That's a big ouch. Whale Rock dropped six percent in September, widening its loss for the year to 41 percent, sources say. And some of their big holdings, which may explain the losses, included Intuit, which fell 40 percent year to date, and Microsoft. That's their largest holding. As you may know, it's down 31 percent. A drop back into the Bloomberg, and you'll see just a sea of red on the market drawdowns and volatility. Almost every stock futures index housing index all in the red. It's almost like a Halloween chart. Uh, so it really is uh, an ugly picture for these professional money managers. Heidi? There's also a whole new chorus of voices, so including JP Morgan's Jamie Dimon saying that stocks could fall further from here. Yeah, he's saying they can be down 20% in the S&P if we're in recession. Billionaire hedge fund manager John, uh, Paul Tudor Jones told CNBC stocks could fall another 10% under a recession playbook, thinks we may already be in recession, and, you know, earnings uh, outlooks continue to be revised downward and we're downward, so analysts are saying buckle up. Meanwhile, one of the biggest hedge funds out there, Millennium is pouring billions into a new yet to be named stock based fund scheduled to launch next year. Uh, Millennium's flagship fund, we should point out, is up 9.7% through September. Its flagship fund has a lot of macro plays. In other words, they bet on the rate uh, interest rates, they bet on currency plays. So that has buoyed their fund higher. Interesting that they're now getting into stock picking. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. Hang in there because these funds are doing a lot worse than you and again you have to remember that they are over leveraged on certain things if you are on a cash account you are not over leveraged on anything you can't over leverage yourself most likely you did not take loans out from a bank and most likely you are not risking crazy collateral so don't beat yourself up you're probably doing a lot better than other people